Okay, here with Winnet County's Abby Johnson, who is a, a qualifier in three events for the state track meet this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about the events that you're in uh, and, uh, and what your day is going to be like today, other than busy. Yeah, very busy. <laughs> today I'm going to be running the 4x8, the 400 Open, and the 4x4. Four four. So I'll have those two relay, uh, those two relay races with my teammates that I'm really excited for. I'll have the 400 on my own. <laughs> okay. You, you're a runner that's had a lot of close calls over the years, whether it be in track or cross country. What's a, what has it been like to, to break through and get here, not just in, in a relay event, but individual event too? You get to do both. Yes, just in the past, missing these state meets just by one place sometimes was definitely devastating. And my coach and my teammates really helped me through it and helped me keep competing. And then this year to make it in three events and not just one, and even to make it on one on my own was just a really amazing experience and one that I'm super grateful for. <laughs> the the fact that you're here running is is a big deal anyways, and, and people can read about that in the, in the Lacrosse Tribune. Uh, back in your junior year, uh, you found out that you had a, a tumor and they found cancer in that. Uh, so it's been a long road back, um, but pretty quickly you've been able to get to a pretty high level of running again. Uh, just talk about a little of the process of that and, and some advice you might have to some people that are in that same position. Definitely one of the hardest things that I've had to do is recover after going through that and building myself up to the place I was before. But I guess I want people to know that even though you've gone through these harder times, that things can be even better than they were before and you don't even have to just get back to the same place you were. You can be something even greater.